Hello, everyone. In this lesson, I will continue to explain the usage of view. Let's watch the video. These video clips were taken last year in Bingpoku Valley, where it features snow-capped mountains and a winter vibe. Although it didn't snow when I filmed these clips, we can create a snowfall effect through addition. How to operate? On the initial interface, that is this interface, we find effects and click on it. We added an opening and ending to the video yesterday, and now we can add an effect in the middle section. To do this, we can click here to add an effect. Click here, click on the blank space. There are many categories. Click on nature, click on snowfall, the second one in the second row. Let's check the effect. It is now snowing. Let's confirm. You'll find that in addition to open and close, there is the snowfall effect. This length can be adjusted. If you want to apply this effect to the whole video, okay, then you can move the box to the left. Hold and drag it to the leftmost position and adjust the edges to cover the remaining part of the video. The box can be dragged to either the left side or the right side. If you drag the box to the left, the effect will apply to the preceding part of the video. If you drag the box to the right, the effect will apply to the later part of the video. Just drag the effect to adjust its length. Let's check the effect. The combination of slow motion and snowflakes creates a sensation of time gradually slowing down, giving a pleasant feeling. Compared with the previous video with just transitions, this one features a stronger vibe. So this is the feeling that we achieve by adding effects to the video. Well, in addition to snowfall, there are many other effects. For example, lightning, a crack, sunlight. It feels like backlighting, fireworks. There are effects that may not be suitable, so it is important not to use them. For example, the fireworks effect is not suitable for this video. I was just showing you what it looks like. Don't follow me. Flying pedals. They are flying upward and falling pedals. Scroll down and choose anyone you like. In general, in environments like this, snow or falling leaves are the most suitable effects to use. You see, the falling leaves effect is good as well. You can make adjustments based on your video's environment and content. There is also the explosion effect. There is a special scene that requires an explosion. You can click on this effect. Some videos feature incredibly stunning transitions that are created using this effect. Actually, it is quite simple. Just select it and the effect will be applied. Due to the limitation of this app, only one effect can be applied within a single frame. Therefore, we need to delay the existing effect in order to use a new one. Let's remove the snowfall effect and consider which effect to be applied. Let's apply a viewfinder effect to this clip. Click on effects. Scroll to the right. Find the border. I personally like the effect called viewfinder. Click here. This effect indeed resembles the viewer finder that we used to have on 135 film cameras. It's exactly the same. If the upper and lower halves of the circle overlap, it means that the camera is in focus. If they don't overlap, it indicates the camera is out of focus. Let's leave that aside. Let's first check this effect. I'm going to prolong the viewfinder effect to this point. Okay, let's check the clip with the viewer finder effect. Let's start from here. It gives a feeling that the entire scene is observed through a viewfinder. Okay, stop. This is one of the frame effects. Next, I will introduce a feature that can be used in conjunction with the viewfinder called the freeze frame. The viewfinder is related to a camera. When taking a photo, we usually look at the scene through a viewfinder. Therefore, we can simulate the effect of a viewfinder. First of all, we need to freeze a nice frame, like the one where she walks to the center. We need to find a visually pleasing angle, such as this one. Put this pointer here, then go back. Click on this clip, find the last frame, make sure that the white box emerges. Remember that the freeze option is not in the initial interface. Please pay attention to where I am currently. Clicking, I am clicking here, right here. Make sure not to confuse it with other buttons. Otherwise, there is a high chance of making a mistake. I want to freeze this frame. Stop. We need to adjust it slightly for there is a misalignment. Okay, let's choose this frame. Click on it, find freeze. Now, this video clip is split into three segments. Do you see it? This is a freeze frame. It feels like we've taken a snapshot, and that's the effect. 
Then we can add a transition there. Click here. As you can see, there is a white box between these two segments. I talked about it yesterday. If you haven't understood yet, review the content from yesterday. Click on black flash. Okay, it feels like a shutter click. The camera's shutter is click at this point. Well, this is the final frame we have. We can add an animation to this frame. Let's look at this one. Rotate full. We can also use other animations. Let's check the effect. Okay, a picture was taken. Well, it takes too long. This animation is not suitable. Let's shorten the duration. It's too complicated. Let's try a simpler one. There are many to choose from. Example, swing bottom left. Okay, a picture was taken. The effect is like this. Okay, she continues to walk. Well, there is an issue in this process. We have the viewfinder, but no sound. We need a shutter sound. Next, I'll talk about the shutter sound. There is a requirement for imitating the shutter sound. The sound should be heard just as the scene is getting dark. Okay, only at this point should the shutter sound be heard. Don't insert the sound at other points. It must be inserted right here. When the scene is almost dark, click on audio. The first option, click on audio not music. Remember that. It is the second option effects. Click into the menu and slide to the right. Find mechanical. These are the categories. Under the categories, there are options to choose from. Scroll down, taking photos. This is the sound taking photos. Type the right bottom to apply the effect. And let's check the effect. This is the feeling of a snapshot. If you find the position not suitable, you can hold the effect to adjust its position. Okay, now it is properly positioned. Start. Okay, this is the effect of adding a shutter sound. We have added one sound. Is it true that we can add one freeze frame in the video? No, you can add as many freeze frames as you want. For example, you can add a freeze frame at this point, and you can also add a freeze frame at another point. You only need to repeat the operation of adding a transition. Okay and taking a photo, and then you add a freeze frame. The duration can be adjusted, make it short. Then she can continue to walk. This can make the frame more natural and less complicated. Now that we have added the special effect and the sound to the video, we can proceed to give it a theme. It is recommended to the text feature. How to operate? First, locate the position where you want to add the text. Do not add a text here. When the screen is black, we need to wait until the screen is no longer black before adding the text. This is just a small problem. At the beginning, the video has opened many times, which means that effect has been applied many times. We don't need that much. Only the first few are needed. Let's add a text here. Return to the initial interface. There is a text option. If you have previewed the lesson or studied the Jane app, you must know how to add it. I'm just going to repeat the process. First of all, locate the text function and click on it. Click on Add Text. It means you can add multiple characters and words in the current frame. For example, you can type in snow in Bipongo Valley. Okay, confirm it. Then the characters are in the frame. So the first step is to add text. Now, there is a problem. This text is ugly. It appears suddenly, and I don't think it is eye-pleasing. We can modify the text. We can see that around the text box, there are four icons. There is a cross, and below the cross, there is two stacked squares. On the lower right, there is a rotation icon, and above it, there is a pencil. Let me explain them. The cross means to delete the text. Click on the cross, and the whole text is removed. If you want to restore the text, you can follow the previous instructions and go back one step. The icon on the bottom left corner is called copy. Clicking on it will create an identical text box below. You can move it to some other places, or you can click on the cross to delete it. This icon on the right indicates zoom in, zoom out, and rotation. By holding it, you can change the angle and size of the text. You can also hold the text that changes position. You can move it to anywhere you want. Click on the pen in the upper right corner, and you will see many options below. What are their functions? This is style, which allows you to change the text according to your preference. You can find the desired style and feel for the text in the style menu. For example, you can choose this font or that font or any font you like from. This font is good. Further down, these are some style options. You can choose one by clicking on it. 
Generally speaking, we will use a simple or less complicated style. These are the steps of selecting the text font and style. You can choose according to your own preference. There is opacity at the bottom. With this function, you can make your text conspicuous or inconspicuous. In this case, the text is inconspicuous, appearing faint and allowing the background to be visible. Now the text is conspicuous. Click on the check mark. The text now looks better, doesn't it? This is how we change the style of the text. After the style is changed, there is another problem. The text appears and disappears abruptly, which is awful. We need to modify the text. How to modify it? Click on it, go back, locate text. To modify the text, we need to click on the text option. Slide to the right after clicking on the white box, just like modifying clips and music. There is the animation option in the menu. Click on it. This animation option is different from that of clips and music. It contains three options, in, out, and loop. Let's leave the loop option aside and click on in. The in animation determines how the text appears at the beginning. The out animation determines how the text finally disappears. Okay, as an example, I'm going to choose fade in. Then there will be a bar below. It represents the duration of the text. The blue portion represents the time it takes for the text to gradually appear. If I set the duration to 0.6 seconds, it will take that time for the text to gradually appear. If I set the duration to one second, the process will be slow. If I set it to two to three seconds, the process will be even slower, but we should not make it too slow. The out animation should also be set. For example, fade out. I choose fade in for a slow appearance for the text, so I can choose fade out for a slow disappearance of the text. There are many other options, including type, which makes the text disappear by itself. You can choose an animation to your liking. Okay, in general, I prefer the text to appear and disappear in the same manner. Therefore, I have chosen the same effect, which involves a gradual appearance and disappearance of the text. Click on the check mark. Let's take a look. Okay, that's a little better. Jianying provides an excellent function. It can convert the text into speech, which is a default function. Click on this box and below it there is a menu bar containing options such as split, copy, style, and text-to-speech reading. Locate text-to-speech and click on it. After that, an audio track is generated. Let's listen. Snow in Bipongo Valley. This is the voice provided by the system. The system just offers this female voice. The speed and effect of the voice are indeed fixed and cannot be changed. It functions this way, that's all. Next, I'm going to talk about how to remove the voice from the video. In the previous three lessons, some students were not sure about how to remove the added sound. Actually, it's quite simple. Once you understand the process, currently, we are in the text editing interface, where we cannot edit the sound. Therefore, we need to find the audio option to modify the sound. Let's go back, click on audio, and you will see the audio track. That represents the female voice we added earlier. Snow in Bipongo Valley. Delete this track and the voice will be removed from the video. You see, there is no sound now. Next, I'm going to explain how to customize the voice of text-to-speech. You may don't want to use the default female voice and find it unappealing or lacking distinctiveness. Then there is a voice that has a high level of uniqueness and cannot be the same as other voices. That is your own voice. How to add your own voice? Now I'm going to show you the operation. First and foremost, find the audio option in the initial interface. Click on record. As you can see, there is a red button. Press and hold the button to record your voice. This is the same as sending a voice message on WeChat. It's exactly the same. I won't talk more about this. You all know how to send a voice message on WeChat. Okay, after pressing and holding the button, you can read the text to record it. I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, click the check mark. Then let's check the voice. Snow in Bipongo Valley. Okay, now this voice has been added to the frame and the voice is unique to me. We can add multiple audio tracks within the same frame. For example, we can change the voice and another audio segment here. 
For example, you can add as many audio segments as you wish. You can even add voices from a thousand individuals, including both male and female voices, to create a feeling similar to poetry recitation. The position of the recorded audio can be adjusted. For example, you can move it backward or forward. If you want to move the recorded audio forward, you need to ensure that there is available space before it, just like this. If the audio is already positioned at the beginning of the video, it is not possible to further move it forward. Instead, you can only move it backward, because there is space available after it. Remember that this is the opening, and nothing should exceed the timeline's left edge that remarks the beginning of the video. The same applies to the closing of the video. Nothing should exceed the timeline's right edge. Remember that the opening and closing scenes mark the beginning and end of the video. All content of this video should stay within its range and should not exceed it. Within this range, you can freely move the position of the recorded audio. You can choose to move it wherever you want. For example, if we move this recorded audio to a later position, we will hear two sounds. This creates an interesting audio effect with both male and female voices. You can write an article and type in the text. Then you can use different voices to recite the content. For example, you can start with a male voice, followed by a female voice, then another male voice, and then another female voice. You can have a try. Next, I'll talk about how to split the screen. For example, make sure you find a frame without special effects. Let's choose this one. Okay, go back and find effects. Click on visual effects and then tap the split button. There are many options to choose from, such as three, four, dual, BW, six, nine, and circuit, which is Randomly choose one. Well, the screen can be split when the scene is relatively simple. If there are many lines in the scene, I don't recommend to use this feature. The nine screens effect can make you dizzy if you stare at the screen for a long time. So please be cautious. Let's wrap up this lesson on mobile phone photography. Thanks for watching.